What's up everyone? Welcome to Heroes Avenue. My name is Darren. So while DC and Marvel are both having a successful year so far in terms of box office numbers and critic reviews, um, I like to talk about how things were back then uh, just because Jared Leto recently came out uh, during the interview where he talked about how he would love to come back and uh, play the role as, as Joker as long as the story is good. He also talked about how um, he also defended DC movies as well and compared them to Marvel and I just kind of want to uh, compare the two uh, ourselves but let's go over what he said. So first he says I think DC is they're they're doing okay man like he, he says it, he says it with a really soft voice <laughs> and he says oh and i think uh, oh, and i think it has just ask jason momoa he says i think wonder woman was one of the more exciting things ever to happen it was phenomenal uh, it was a beautiful performance i think dc world has been pretty great for a long time you can't win every single time but i think they're doing just fine people love shazam I haven't seen it yet. People really love that film. Who's perfect? I'm not. So I really love how he's being truthful. He's being honest, and he's not. You know, he he says yes. DC has some flaws, but no one's perfect. Uh, but they're doing just fine. They're doing a they're doing a good job uh, for the most part. I mean, this is this is it. I mean, this is what I this is how I think about the universe of uh, the DC universe at least or the DCU. <clears throat> and I think I think they're doing a great job as you know as a cinematic universe. Yes, it was a rough start. Yes, it's hard to you know perfect what Marvel has done, having a smash for smash hit. Um, so I, I you know kudos to DC for sticking it out and you know maintaining their not maintaining but like um, staying in the game regardless how tough things got. They stayed in the game, fixed their strategy, and look where they're at right now. You know, um, and so I want to do a comparison between um, the Rotten Tomatoes, uh, the Rotten Tomato reviews compared to the DC and Marvel, and we're gonna compare the box office numbers. We're just gonna talk about the first six movies for both um, Marvel and DC, just because that's Marvel's Phase One, and this is you know the first six of DC is basically uh, DC's Phase One as well, um, because we are entering a different you know tonal, different you know different pace of films uh for dc so let's start off with uh with the first movie that has ever come out in both camps so we got man of steel uh sitting at a 56 percent and then we got iron man sitting at a 93 percent yes the comparison is super off uh, but i think a lot of us could agree that mar uh, that man of steel is is a, a way it deserves a higher grade on the rotten tomato score than a fucking 56 percent right super low it doesn't deserve that at all by any means uh, if anything i think it deserves around 80 percent honestly um and yeah i love iron man in, in that sense and so um and then you got the second movie you got uh, batman vs superman at 28 percent and then you got incredible hulk at a 60 67 percent i honestly love bvs more than incredible hulk um i especially love the extended cut definitely watch that um but yeah and i don't think it's a 20 percent no no way uh, and then the third film we got suicide squad at 27 percent which i agree <laughs> uh, and then we got an iron man 2 at 73 percent and then wonder woman this is where things get better for the dcu um for the most part at sitting at a 93 percent and then it's beating thor at a 77 percent and then you got obviously you got just league which is a Keep, this movie just keeps getting worse and worse every time I watch it. But yeah, Justice League sitting at a 40%, and then you got Captain America, uh, First Avenger sitting at an 80%. And then DC redeems himself uh, at at uh, Aquaman sitting at a 65%. I think this, I think when this movie first came out, it was a little higher. I think it was around 70%. But right now it's sitting at a 65, and then you got Avengers sitting at a 92%. So, I mean, it's DC is doing a good job. I think. I mean, yes, this is only Rotten Tomato, um, but I think for the most part, if, you know, just by talking to you guys and uh, from my experience, I think Man of Steel is a hit. Um, I think BVS is, is a lot better than, you know, it, it was rated. And, you know, Suicide Squad and Justice League, I think they kind of deserve those scores. <laughs> but they're not doing that bad, right? They're trying to build a cinematic universe and that is hard to do. Um, and so anyone 
any other franchise that's gonna try to implement what what Marvel has done is gonna run through these rough patches as well. Um, and it's only a matter of time if they if, if we will see them come out of it alive, or they will just give up and just drop dead. So I think they're doing a great job. I mean, Shazam sitting at a 90%, guys. So it's doing a great job. And so if we want to compare the um, the box office numbers, this is what this is where kind of DC shines, right? So <clears throat> despite the reviews, DC has done a great job compared to uh, Marvel. All right, so now let's compare the box office numbers worldwide and how much they made. Uh, all right, so let's start it off with the first movie. So we got Man of Steel sitting at $600 million worldwide. And then we got Iron Man sitting at 500 million worldwide. Um, and then we got BVS sitting at uh, 800 million worldwide. And then you got then you got Incredible Hulk sitting at 200 million worldwide. And then you got Suicide Squad sitting at 700 million worldwide. And then you got Iron Man 2 sitting at 600 million worldwide. So that's that's super close. But DC is still winning in terms of box office. Uh, and then you got you got Wonder Woman sitting at 800 million worldwide. I'm estimating, by the way. Um, and then you got Thor sitting at 400 million worldwide. Huge difference, guys. Huge difference. And then you got Just Sleek uh, sitting at 600 million worldwide. And then you got uh, Captain America sitting at. 300 million worldwide even just League beat uh, Captain America back for for you know back then um, And then we got the last movie which is Aquaman which made 1.1 billion dollars fucking killed it then you got Avengers 1.5 billion so the difference is It's not too far off. I mean DC is definitely waiting in terms of box office for the first six movies for the for DC's phase one uh, they're definitely out, you know, out beating uh, Avengers in terms, of, in terms of that. But overall, I think DC is doing a great job. I mean, they're doing good for what you know what they're doing. Um, the fact that they stuck around and fixed, reworked and their their wrongs. You know, they're fixing the business side of it. They fired a lot of people. They're doing. They're taking all the right measures just to make this cinematic universe a successful one. And I think they're doing a pretty good uh, job. And so. Definitely commend them. I think anyone that were to do what they did, uh, what they're doing now, I think a lot of them would would, would stop. Um, so congratulations to DC, you're doing a great job. Let's hope for a brighter future. Let's hit less bumps in the road uh, and let's continue to kill it. So uh, I, want to, I want to know your guys' thoughts on this because I definitely agree with Jared Leto's quotes. So I want to know your guys' thoughts. Do you agree with him? Do you think DC is doing a good job, is doing a okay job? Uh, no one's perfect or do you think DC sucks and everything's a bomb and they can never get to where Marvel's at so let me know in the comments below like this video and I'll see you guys again bye